Hello, children. Now, let us start with lesson 19. Livelihood and struggle for urban workers. Children, in this lesson, we are going to talk about the urban workers. The workers who work in urban areas. You know, in rural areas, mostly people work in the farms or they will do their professional works. But in urban areas, people come from the villages for their livelihood. In chapter 9, we read about workers in a paper mill. Most paper mill workers were like Arnold. They get high wages, bonus. Bonus means share of profit from the company. They get provident fund savings for the future and other allowances. They also get the health care and housing facilities. Such workers constitute only a small section of all the workers in India. This is called organized job because they get wages, they get bonus, they get provident fund and also they get other allowances. We also learned about other kind of workers also in the same paper mill like Umar and Pushpa. These Umar and Pushpa, they get low wages and do not get any other allowances or facilities required for a decent living. Most workers in India are like Umar and Pushpa because in India we have or unorganized workers more than organized workers. Organized workers, they constitute 8% of the people whereas unorganized workers, they constitute 91% of the working sections. So, in this chapter, we will learn about why and how workers negotiate with their employees for a decent life through their organizations and laws. We will also learn about an organization working for those who work on their own. Children, we have learned that government makes laws in the interest of the people. Isn't it? Laws are also made to protect the welfare of the workers employed in fields, factories, private and government offices. Factories which are properly registered with the government are expected to follow these rules and provide better wages and other facilities required for workers. Governments also have labor departments which have the responsibility to ensure that these laws are followed. If the laws are not followed, workers can file cases in courts. At times, factories protect the welfare of only a section of workers who are called the regular workers or permanent workers. And those known as casual or contract workers are not looked after. However, there are many factories which do not get properly registered with the government. Now, let us look at the conditions of workers in such factories closely. Working as permanent workers in factories. Now, children below, read the following accounts of two factories in Kottur. Where is this Kottur? This is is a new industrial town located about 30 kilometers from Hyderabad in Nagar district. This incident was recorded in 2002, in the year 2002. Now let us learn about this Fibrotex company. A large scale factory producing fiberglass was set up in 1976. In 2002, out of 570 workers, 140 were permanent workers. 60 workers were employed on casual basis and they were called badli workers. Casual workers are called badli workers. They replaced permanent workers in case of their absence and about 300 workers were employed daily on contractual basis. And this permanent worker cannot be dismissed without a proper procedure and a payment of compensation while other workers can be removed easily. 
this factory has a trade union initially it was set up with the encouragement of the company which wanted a union that would be more agreeable to its policies soon the union developed into a strong workers organization as workers participated in the union actively it negotiated with the management to fix wages etc all workers get wages fixed through agreements with the union and medical facilities through employee state insurance that is esi and provident fund pf the trade unions secured other benefits also let us see what all what are those health check up in big private hospitals leave in case the workers become sick safety wear in the workplace safe drinking water in the factory educational allowances for workers children conveyance allowance and also leave travel allowance lta like that they also get loans from the company when needed and the company has also provided quarters for them to live in the company also took interest in training workers who have been working for long in the factory sending them to foreign countries to improve production quality the trade unions also made agreements with factory owners to regularize contract laborers after a definite period of work the trade unions of fibrotex was quite active in the town as well this had helped many other small trade unions in other factories to grow their bargaining power with their employees not children we are talking about trade unions trade unions no let us know what are these trade unions look at this box trade union trade union is an organization formed by workers to protect their interests now i underline these lines children a trade union is an organization formed by workers to protect their interests if every single worker has to negotiate with the employer separately they will not be in a strong position so however if all of them negotiate together their position will become stronger trade unions negotiate on the behalf of all workers with government and the employers they speak to ensure proper wages other benefits and decent working conditions for their members collectively with their member workers they secured social insecurity benefits medical facilities houses provident fund and pension for worker if any worker is harassed or is in need of help the trade unions take up his or her cause unions adopt a variety of measures like negotiations filing cases in the law courts and even strikes or stoppage of work to pressurize the employees in democratic principles now the details of workers salaries in 2003 february fibrotex company are as follows look at this children permanent workers how much they are getting they are getting rupees 4500 to 10000 per month badli workers those are contract based they get only 3000 to 4 4000 contract or casual laborers rupees 58 per day for 8 hours if they work for 8 hours they get only 58 rupees so they have got three type of workers in this fibrotex company permanent workers they get regular salaries badli workers also because they are contract casual workers when the work is there they come in said otherwise they leave. leave that and contract or casual laborers are also there for one day two day hours basis they work they get only 58 rupees per day here we see only in fibrotex company only over 80 permanent workers are available about 360 workers called badlis and contract workers get low salaries along with pf esf 